Majo John Ned on the Moye or Wharf at the harbor of Veracruz. Still very busy on Sunday night. This town really comes alive on the weekends. Lots of Mexicans come to the beach and the port. They fondly call this town the port uh, for the weekends. And they tend to stay through Sunday night. So Sunday is still busy. Midweek, this uh, walkway is absolutely quiet. And midday, even today, it was quiet because it's so hot and sunny. It's been sunny consistently. A little rain this morning. First rain I've seen in two weeks. And huge statues commemorating the building of this uh, wharf. The planners and down the way there's big muscular guys putting in huge slabs of concrete. Uh, that turn, this was one of the first ports in Mexico in the early 1500s and it remains one of the most important commercial harbors. And this bay is almost entirely encompassed by land. There's just a little shipping channel way out at the end, large enough for very big boats to come through. But it's wonderful swimming. It's wonderful swimming. Uh, I want to talk about guys teasing in Mexico. The guys almost, it's like as children on their mother's knee, they were taught, no, probably by their dads, tease other men. Just, just, you have to. It's so much fun. Now, it's done in the U.S. When I was uh, a diversity consultant and I did gender work in large corporations, we would talk about male banter, that women engage in sweet and affectionate and directly emotional ways. A guy seeing his best friend that he hasn't seen for years will say, you still driving that piece of shit? And guys will banter, they give each other shit. Uh, and the guy, the data research shows this, the guy in a group of friends who is most highly regarded catches the most teasing. It's a sign of uh, respect. So, so it's true in the U.S. too, but there's something so sweet and cute about the way. In the, in the U.S., some, some of the banter almost gets mean. Almost never here in Mexico. It's always cute and sweet. Uh, the guy, the guard here, I've been, I've been nursing a bad knee and I spent the whole day in the restaurant at the Hotel Mari Tierra there. Uh, they have a good breakfast buffet and a really wonderful Sunday afternoon buffet. So I've been not walking today because I've been overdoing on a knee that I hurt the other day. But every time I come out here, I come out with my with a Coke. And I love the Coke and Cristal glass bottles. I think it tastes better. And it's a pretty good uh, uh, environmental thing too, because you get money back when you return it. But the guy, the guy, the guard says, "Otra coquita, coquita, another coke." And praise God, my Spanish is getting a lot better. It's still horrid, not adequate to living here, but but a lot better in in typical situations. So I was able to say, "Cuatro, boy, it's my fourth today because I, I didn't get a lot of sleep. Uh, I'm in a, the, the apartments are all concrete. Concrete floors, concrete walls, it's just how they build here. And uh, no furniture and I'm not going to furnish it because I'm not going to stay. And I did lay out 250 pesos for a camping air mattress but it seems to have sprung a leak. So mostly I'm sleeping on a camping pad, thin camping pad on the concrete. So I slept hard, but not for any one batch of sleep did not last too long because my bones, my hip bones started to hurt. So I'm tired, so I'm using coke. But that was fun. And uh, cops, once they get the business done and decide there's nothing bad going on, they, they tease you. My big camper van, they tease me about the bangs in the van tease me about a mess in the van and they just tease. It's very sweet and very fun. And now I'm going to do another note about women and men in Mexico. <laughs>